Hello everybody, this is Guy the IT Guy, and this is today's Linux Minute Daily, number 5. And today, I think we're just going to grab a random distribution that just, you know, just happened to pop up. That's because this one looks a little interesting. Um, there's some news going on with Windows 10, uh, they got a new dock, the funny thing is, is it looks like Linux. <laughs> Well, w Windows don't call it a dock, but we'll get into that tomorrow. I mean, everybody's covering it like dirt. Oh, small window, small window. New. No. There we go. This is Zenwalk Linux. That is the one that we'll be covering today. Or at least talking about it. And it's a Slackware-based GNU Linux operating system with the goal of being slim and fast by using the only one application per task and with focus on graphical desktop and multimedia usage. And Zenwalk features the latest distribution Linux technology along with a complete programming environment and libraries to provide an ideal platform for application programmers. So it's great for like, you know, writing stuff in, oh, I forgot what was the name of the, the program. It's just all visual. Uh, it comes with the, uh, the Raspbian distributions. Uh, it's not GIMP. GIMP is the image. Uh, it's a weird one. It's like a graphical programming interface. Now look at that. We got Star Labs over there on the right advertising their laptop. If I could just get the oh. S. Like, if it was an OS that made it look like something from Star Labs, from the Flash, and DC Universe, that'd be awesome. But it's just Zorn OS or Linux Mint or Elementary or whatever you want. I'd rather have them make a customized operating system. That'd be great. I mean, the laptops look nice, but hey, we'll click on that here in a minute. Okay. Oh, excuse me, a little bit of a cold. It's been raining. It's cold here. A Zenwalk's modular approach also provides a simple way to convert Zenwalk Linux into a finely tuned modern server. An example, LAMP messaging, file sharing, that, that type of stuff. And let's see. Let's go to Zenwalk.org. All we got is that, that main kind of front there create your pre bleh, create your private hi-fi streaming service now that sounds kind of interesting i see people doing that with raspberry pis using raspberry pi uh matter of fact a uh, megadeth of all people just use raspberry pi and linux to make their new album and it's called oss or open source well, oh, OSS stands for Open Source Software. So I don't know why they named it OSS. But they're taking crowdfunding right now, actually. <laughs> now that I'm off on a tangent on that. Mega doops. Dex, no mega death. Crowd. Funding. Only because this has got to do with Linux. But let's see. Mega death crowdfunding. Well, I want the crowdfunding. Too many Christmas. I don't care about all the other crap. They're crowdfunding their new album. Uh, crowdfund Insider. Okay, dokie. I don't know where they're crowdfunding it at. But Megadeth, a Los Angeles-based heavy metal band, as we all know. And they're famous for such songs as... Oh, no thanks. That's not the song. <laughs> Getting all these ads. Mortgage rates. Uh... As Holy Wars Punishment Do, Peace Sells is now crowdfunding its upcoming 15th album on online direct to fan platform, Pledge Music Notes AV Club. I would mind getting that myself. As it says here, Legendary Group has gone platinum six times and sold about 50 million albums and will offer backers a first ever glimpse into the world of band members Dave Mustaine. Hello, me. It's me again. <laughs> Kiko Lario, David Ellison, 
I know someone with the last name Ellison. I work with him at work. And Chris Adler. Rewards range from a signed CD, download, and access pass, unlocking access to Megadeth videos, music, behind the scenes, photos, and private updates for 50 bucks. That's 50 US dollars, by the way. Currently 88 remaining. Oh, damn. Chance to jam with the band in Nashville. Uh, yeah, that's a little far away. Prior to May 15th, if you choose the latter option, please be aware that your $10,000 worth of support, oh, Jesus, will not also cover your travel expenses. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Megadeth's Pledge Music Campaign notes that physical album products will be fulfilled on or around street date. Estimated fulfillment date for non-album items and experiences is July 2015. What the shit? No, come on. Uh, let's look up. I know I just read it this morning. I was drinking my coffee. Getting ready for my day. Getting SCCM powered up and getting AD running. Yes, my main job is working with Windows 10. And Microsoft has screwed up so bad. They have just made a mess and a mockery of the updates and printers and Outlook. It's like, thanks, man. Uses Raspberry Pi. Come on, I, I know it's in here somewhere. GNU Health expands the Raspberry Pi support. Okay, well, there's the main article. That's where I read it at, but it was on my phone. It's on my phone, no. Oh no. Can you help? Megadeth's art guitarist brings OSS approaches to music. Heavy metal fans likely know Kiko Lorio as Megadeth's guitarist. Lorio, I think I'm pronouncing that right, is less known in the OSS world. But that might change soon. His new solo album is called Open Source. By definition, open source is related to software in which original source code is made freely available, as we all know, and made redistributed and modified, and it's going to be great. Lorio shared in a recent interview, it brings us a higher sense of community, enhances our creativity, and creates new possibilities. In true open source fashion, Lorio is running an Indiegogo fundraiser to keep his album independent. His fundraiser emphasis, the open source mentality, which includes making his song stems available for listeners to remix. Awesome. Oh, I did not read that part. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Damn. Song stem, if y'all don't know. Song stems are like, they're like little tiny mp3 tracks that you could mix together in like acid sony acid pro or something like that or an audacity or however you want to do it until they make a weird ass jam that would be freaking epic okay let's come on come on come on nitty go 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 100% funded in five hours. Yeah, no shit. One campaign out now. First single and music video released. E-dependent mind. Oh, okay. Now I'm here to invite you to be part of my new project. Finally in the process of finishing up. New solo album. Oh, we got tabs over here. Signed. Okay, here we go. Here's the stuff over here. Standard pack, 80 US dollars, is 105 claimed, it looks like a signed CD, a t-shirt that says artwork coming soon, that in itself would be hilarious just to wear, I got, I'm gonna make that t-shirt, I have a t-shirt shop online, and I make weird t-shirts with stuff like that, like artwork coming soon, I'm gonna make that shirt. That is totally going to be a shirt. I'm just going to make it. It's going to cost me like 20 bucks. Well, no. I use the good t-shirt, so it's going to cost me 35 bucks. But, man, I have artwork coming soon. <laughs> That's epic. 
I don't know what that is. What is it? High res digital album download. So it's in a, probably an OGG format. It's only ten bucks. Physical CD. It's not saying whether it's signed or not. Signed physical CD. Well, that one's signed too. Guitar tabs. No, I want the stems, man. Oh Jesus, it's on vinyl. Oh my God, I have a record player. I mean, I am so crazy. I, I bought an old Metallica record, but it was a reprint. But I'm trying to find all the originals, especially with Injustice for All. I love heavy metal music on records. For anybody who says that, oh, but if you put it on your iPod and you get it in a high enough format, you'll never know the difference. Bullcrap. Let me tell you right now, you got a record player, good record player, not one of these little crossly things for like 50 bucks. I mean, you can get a decent record player for about 100 bucks. Altec. Is it Altec? No. I forgot the name of my record player. I forgot the brand of my record player. It's a LPT 125. I am just getting off on a wild tangent today. LPT 125. The ultimate combat SAR personal locator system. No, that's not what it is. Bad internet. It's gonna be huge. Uh. Ladder? Let's go with that. <laughs> it's a septic tanks. No! Oh! Epic internet fail. We went to. Well, these are pooper boxes. LPT 125. I look like a septic tank. Ah, Jesus. Whatever. Go away. Platter. Oh, gee, mini Christmas. Turntable Hi-Fi Pinterest. Yeah, it is a Hi-Fi turntable. It was like $350 new. And since the box had a little da bit of damage, the record store owner was like, Dude, I'll, I'll, I'll sell it to you for like 200 bucks. No, I got it. No, I got it for 170. Because with tax, it came up to like 190, something like that. Oh, and I cannot remember its name. Oh, come on. Because it's got a USB port on the back, so if I want to. Good to hurry up before I get off on this tangent even further. Thorns, thorns, no, no. That looks like it, but it's not a new mark. Audio Technica, there it is. Mine's silver though. But you get one of these. I mean, let's just jump down this little rabbit hole here one more time. Oh, geez, that didn't work. Okay, let's try this again, Amazon. I want to follow your link to the website. See, don't get like one of those. Well, you can get a Victrola. Those are pretty decent. But if you're wanting to listen to really good music, you know, go go with an Audio Technica. Let's see. Do 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 do. Oh, the LP60. Well, that's just straight arm. There's not much bouncing act you can do with this. Uh, you know, it's 99 bucks. It's still a good record player though. And I'm trying to find the LPT 120. Do I have a 120? I thought I had a 125. But I know I, I got the S-curved arm. This LED light. <clears throat> Excuse me. Controls the speed. Yes, this one you can DJ on. Go waka 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 waka. And there's speed control. Which is pretty cool. So if you think that the record player is playing a little bit slow, kick it up some. But over here on the record player, uh, on the swing arm, you got that weight. See that weight back there with 2.0 and 2.5? That's your grams. You have to turn that to perfectly balance your neat, your record arm. So that way it just floats in midair. So it just kind of floats a little bit and then just kind of gently rests down on the record. You don't want it. 10 pounds of weight on the record. That's going to ruin all the grooves. You're going to get about 20 plays out of it. Your record's going to turn to a mud. 
And then over there, you see the little dial. That's for that's the anti-skate dial. You want to adjust that because even though you have the like when you adjust your, you know, basically your needle arm, your needle and your swing arm, to be perfectly balanced, and you put it on the record, it could actually just kind of drift over, and you could listen to the record in half the time. And that's what the anti-skate is for. And you get that all balanced out as well, so that way the, you know, the swing arm doesn't move any faster than what it should, because there are some you know, like you could get a, like a Crosley record player or something like that, and it will play that record at an either insane speed or a slow speed. See, these are 270 right now. They were expensive when I bought mine two years ago. But if you can't afford that, just grab the one for a hundred bucks. That's good enough to go. But uh, I'm done with my tangent now. Uh, that, that's a really nice turntable. I ain't gonna lie. Ironically enough, that thing is expensive. And I don't know if it's because it's got two swing arms. I, I never have made sense of that. The thing has got two freaking swing arms. Two needles on a record player. I mean, I haven't looked much into it, but, you know... On the only vinyl special edition, 15 claimed. They must still have a lot left. What? There's two of them? What? I like that one, but only if it's 180 grams. That's the weight of the record. Vinyl special edition. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, come on. Tell how big it is. Uh, I'm... Okay, for the $150 pack, you get a high-res digital album download, t-shirt, signed physical CD, exclusive art poster, the vinyl special edition, one Kiko's guitar pick, and a VIP laminate. Okay. And for $150, bucks, you get a Skype call. Don't know what I would do with that. When, uh, $400, bucks, you get a uh, one-hour lesson internship. Oh, sweet Jesus, for 1400 basically 1500 bucks, you get a signed Ibanez guitar. That'd be nice for all you Megadeth fans. A video collab with Kiko. Damn! Guest solo on your record. Well, I don't have a record. Okay, where's the stems? Oh, they lied about the stems. Skype one hour lesson mentorship, that sold out. One hour lesson mentorship, that sold out. They're trying to kill us. Yeah. Whatever. Will this a cheer pod go anywhere? Air pod, mouse, and presentation to uh, whatever. It said you get the stems, but man. They better not be talking about guitar tabs, because who calls them stems? <laughs> because that would still be cool for 50 bucks. You get the guitar tabs. I'd rather have the signed physical CD and the album, but... I mean, what's up with the, I'm trying to find this VIP laminate. I don't mind having that, but only if the record is an 180 gram record. T-shirt, gender, male. Large, cause nobody bigger than a large listens to anything. Uh, yeah, they're not saying if it's a 180 gram record or not. That is such a bummer. But he pretty much... In addition, I will make the stems of the song available for download so you can remix, recreate. Huh, it must just be like, uh, after everything. Anybody who's, uh, tossed some money down. Which... You know, I wouldn't. I would not mind that. I mean, especially since. I mean, if you were to believe the hype. Uh, ed what? EDM, <laughs> independent mind. EDM. That's. It's not totally what I'm thinking. What it's supposed to mean. There he's talking about his old album and the new album. Nah. 
just rereading this. Shared in a recent interview, it brings us a higher sense of community, enhances our creativity. Bring an Indiegogo, it's fundraiser, emphasizes open source mentality, which includes making his song stems available. Oh, that's why it's a, that's why he's calling it open source. Because anybody who buys out on anything on there gets the song stems for free. Probably gets a license to use them too, so yeah, YouTube. There's the big one you can go bite there, buddy. Gonna get demonetized just for that. <laughs> They're gonna be like, no. Okay. This would be interesting to make a hi-fi streaming service. Play in your own media library and CD quality. Well, what if I want it to play higher than CD quality? Say like OGG format, lossless audio. I want lossless audio, not CD quality. Because CD quality is good enough. If you're just chilling, you know, just chillaxing out in your room, you know, or you're out in the front room, you've got a house of your own, just chillaxing. you just got your little Raspberry Pi server sitting over there running this with like, you know, like a one terabyte drive on it. You know, it's basically, for all intents and purposes, an iPod hooked up to the Wi-Fi that it goes nowhere. Unless you pick it up. And of course, you know, I still got my iPod. I will never let that go. It will never die. Which is a lie, because the hard drive has gone to hell. Music folder player. Uh, let's go back to Zenwalk. Now I'm off of my tangents. I mean, sweet Jesus, I went on a quick tangent. This this actually looks like a, a really cool looking operating system. A lot of docks are just kind of like, boom, sharp edge. You're like, hey, you're stuck with this color. Hey, you're stuck with these icons. And this is like, hey, check this out, man. Probably because it's called Zimwalk, so I'm going to go do like a chill surfer's voice, you know. It's like, hey, man, check this out. We got some gnarly graphics, dude. Yeah, totally bad. Uh, pff, I forgot how to talk like a server because who talks like a server? Surfers don't even talk like that. Now surfers are like six-figure lawyers and crap. Uh, I went too far back. Formerly mini slag. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh well, I want. I want screenshots. Is that a screenshot? I think that's an ad. I can't even see what that is. Sweet Jesus, let us blow it up, man. Audio quality of SBC XQ Bluetooth audio codec. Yeah, sure it is. Spotify client for Slackware or Zenwalk. Nice. So you could just put Spotify. And just literally take this Zenwalk. Because it's probably a lightweight install. I gotta find the files. Install that on a little Raspberry Pi. Plug the audio in, the audio jack in. Plug it directly into your stereo. Install Spotify on that bad boy and just like, just chill. Hey, we have a screenshot. Look at that. And this is last year XV 4.14 is ready. For use. Oh, sorry. I've been up since five. Holy crap. Let's look at this. It says five years of work. Um, yeah, it still looks pretty decent. I mean, we won't know until we actually fire this up. Uses the Tor browser. Okie dokie. Uh, you know, sometimes I just like my operating systems to look nice from the get-go. As soon as you fire them up, it's like, I don't have to, have to work at it. I do that crap for a living at work, fixing email, fixing Windows 10 problems, Windows 7 problems. I don't want to have to deal with that crap when I come home. I want to be able to install a nice, I mean a nice operating system. Have it look nice. Okay, maybe I might have to put in Docky or something, but phew. I mean, I set up a computer for my wife. She edits videos. She's got a YouTube channel. I set up a computer for her, put Docky on it, and then I put DaVinci. What is it? Yeah, DaVinci Evolve? Or is it Revolve? I put DaVinci Resolve. That's what it says. Put the DaVinci Resolve on there, and she uses that. And 
she loves it. And it was just a God, it's just like a quad core i5 with like I put 12 I think it's 12 or 16 gigs of RAM and it. it might be 16 gigs. Just phew, threw it at. Of course, you know, I had to put in CentOS because at the time DaVinci Resolve does not like to play nice with anything other than CentOS. Although I'll I'll throw CentWalk, I'll throw ZenWalk into something and see if I can get DaVinci Resolve to play nice. Otherwise I'll beat it like the redheaded stepchild it is. Firefox Quantum. What's new? Yeah, not much. Well, ready for testing. ZenWalk current ISO. How big is the uh, said ISO? Um, I want to go. You know what? I just. You know what? We will go up to the top and check that out because this thing looks like it's it's a fast, small, and modern Linux distribution. Looks like it does good with like server type stuff and audio that might actually be good for setting up something like you know like a video editing pc Zenwalk repository <laughs> some reason i always think the word suppository i had to actually stop and say that slowly <laughs> somehow they i always you know like Zenwalk suppository take one now Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, no, no. Hey, yeah, there. Open new tab. Slackware. Your mom's Slackware. I486. I wonder if that's for, like, Raspberry Pi. I mean, I know that there's older computers. I haven't heard of a 486 in a long time. I mean, after that, there was the, there you know, there was the eight, the, the eight, oh, eight, 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 six, or eight, eight, zero, eight, six. And then there was the one, eight, six, and then two, eight, six, and then three, eight, six, and four, eight, six. I think they got up to six, eight, six, and they just called it. It's like, no, it's X86 now. We stopped at 10. Just like Mac. They're like, oh no, we're not calling it Mac OS X anymore. Now we're going to call it Big Sur. Which is stupid. That sounds dumb. How can you not say Big Sur? It's like, have you got the new Mac OS download? No, what's it called? It's called Big Sur. It sounds like somebody you buy weed off of driving an ice cream van around or some crap. I gotta bookmark that. I totally wonder. Yeah, put that in work links. <laughs> Can't open up work links that will reveal where I work. I will be stalked. Patronage and donations. I mean, I know they said it's lightweight, but come on, man. How lightweight are we, like, talking? Yeah, this looks lightweight enough. 41 megabytes? How big is it on the, the uh, PC side? Let's see. Uh, source? No? Oh, come on, guys. Quit teasing me, man. Let's go to app image. Mozilla Firefox Tor browser. What up? Wait, what else was in there? Keep Ask, Audacity, Odyssey, whatever you want to say. Opera, Tor browser, Kid 3.3. I have I have no idea where the hell they they come here to download. It's like um I'm lost. Yeah, one gig. So that's. That's the normal size of the Zenwalk IS. Zenwalk 8 ISO is like 1 gigs. They ain't even messing around. They're like, 1 gig. I mean, I had a Linux download, and it was like 4 gigs. That sucker was loaded, which was kind of weird because, you know, you don't really find a Linux ISO that's loaded down to 4 gigs. Let's just go to download Zenwalk People? 
We can download people. Yay! Let's download some dude named Adam. Can we... Hello? Hi. Repo test. Uh, nope. Let's go back to snapshot. Nope. Nope, no, nothing there. Bip, bip, bip. Barame Mini. Emmanuel. Oh, God, I hope this is not like the movies. Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. Emmanuel in space. There, there's one to Google. Michael, is he going to say hello? Ah, uh, you could have said hello, you bastard. What? Oh, that's the MD5 check file. Okie dokie. Uh, 64 source. Nah. 64. Nah, I don't deal with snapshots. I mean, everything is turning over to snapshots, though. Which is annoying, because Linux is like, Oh, yeah, but everything's going to be snapshots. So that way you don't have to download a whole ISO, ISO all over again. You can just update your Linux with a update snapshot. And I'm just like, damn it. That's what the whole code for is typing in sudo app get update. I mean, come on now. Dweebs. It's just something to make it feel more special. I guess they want to get more people in on it that really don't know Linux. Why well, I'm even surfing backwards on that. Down you go. Uh, let's see. Nothing about running on ARM. Linux Zenwalk ISO is Slackware. Well, shoot. And they did not really have any. There's some dude holding a CD. I have CD. Well, now I want to buy it on a CD because it comes in a cool CD case. Thanks, JP. Slap you with your little JP CD case. Not want it on CD. Can we can we buy it on CD? Releases and versions. Not one time you could buy Ubuntu on CD. Now it's just like, uh, well, it's just kind of jumping around. Wow, it's like dancing around with the music. It's like, uh, let's get groovy. Uh, what's inside the box? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Box, box. If you need a plethora of uh, Slackware network servers and applications, please note that you could download an original Slackware, then install the latest set of Zenwalk packages. No, I want a Zenwalk CD. CD. As in CDs. Current ISOs. I know people just like to, like, oh, I'll just download it, rip it myself. It's like, no, nah, I like the CDs. It's back in the day. I had Seuss, that thing with the little weird gecko, whatever it is on it. I bought that at Walmart. It was like 80 bucks because I bought a computer from some place. I forgot what it was called. Computer Renaissance. And they ripped me off because it had a Microsoft serial number on the outside of the box, or the outside of the computer. But when I went to reinstall, didn't have no CD, so I called Microsoft, and he's like, oh, okay, well, all right, we could send you some discs. What's your number? And I gave him the number. He's like, yeah, that's a pirated number. And I was like, you motherfuckers, and I reported him. So I promptly turned to Linux. That was my first foray, foray into Linux. Actually, it was my second. My first foray was I was at Walmart. I bought Red Hat Linux. And it came on like six, and that was that. Yeah, it was like six install disks. Installed it all the way on all six install disks, and didn't have a GUI interface. Nor did I know how to start up the GUI interface. Nor was there any instructions on how to start up a GUI interface. I mean, we're talking like 1998. I was like, damn, I was pissed. Then I went back to Walmart at my wife's indiscretion. I think I used that right. She's like, no. Got Seuss Linux with the little green gecko dude on the front. 
It might be a blue gecko or whatever that thing is. Um, actually, we will. S U S E. Come on, S T. That thing. Because you could actually buy that in stores. I don't know if you still can. Maybe. But <clears throat> went back, bought that, installed that, and it actually booted up with a full graphical user interface. I was happy. I mean, I ran into an issue where it did not have drivers for my Sound Blaster sound card, but I got over it real quick because I gave them a call and they were like, yeah, you got to download on the internet. I was like, I uh, can't get to the internet yet. I need to install drivers from my modem. <laughs> Yeah, push confirmations. I love those guys. I supported them back in the day. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Can't. Can you still buy this products? There's enterprise server. No. Run SAP. Wow. What? Seuss Linux for uh, Seuss Linux enterprise server for SAP applications. Okay. Um, maybe that's what I bought a Seuss desktop. But no, I bought it because it was like, it was tall. Normally, it was like twice as tall as a DVD case. It was all white and it had that little green gecko dude up there on it. Except for he was turned the other way. But it was really cool. You only need four gigs of RAM, man. Back in the day, I only had four megs of RAM, and that still worked. But yeah, I called them up, and they sent me another CD that had all the drivers that I ever needed, and I was up and running, and I was using Linux. Man, I used that until after I got divorced. My wife took the computer, of course. <laughs> she didn't know how to use Linux, though, so it was kind of funny. She took the computer, and I had to go and buy me a whole nother computer, and I couldn't find Linux in stores anywhere, because there was no Staples or Office Depot nearby. And I had to go with Windows 2000? No, yeah, no. Windows ME. Yeah, it was Windows ME. And unlike everybody else, I fixed my memory leak problem on my operating system, so I never had a problem. That's when I was playing Counter-Strike Renegade. That's a badass game. But here you go. This is the latest video for today. We will leave it off at SUS Linux Enterprise. Really like that. I might install that on something else. Make paint the whole computer green and paint the little gecko dude on the front or the side. I know it's not a gecko. I clicked on the link before on their website somewhere because the, there was actual questions like, what is that creature? And I think it's actually an iguana. I think, I think it's an iguana. I could be wrong. Maybe maybe it was in About, about Us, Success Stories, Webinars. No, Merchandise Store. Hello, we might find the CDs. Yeah, we can get a shirt. Okay. Please select your region. I am there. And there. I forgot there's multiple countries in North America. Oh, I don't want to create an account. Jiminy freaking Christmas, man. I just want to go to the store. 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 There, just, just create an account. Oh my, Jiminy Christmas. I just wanted to get to... I just want the store, bro. Why can't I have the store? Well, I guess that's shot. Apparently, you can at least get a t-shirt. Maybe a green background, too. Okay. Support. Dun, 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 be more productive. Free downloads. Shop. See, like, look, look, I'll click on shop. 
Let's go back. Great account. <laughs> Enterprise server, SAP application, SUSE manager, Enterprise live storage, Linux Enterprise desktop. Start shopping. Uh, one year subscription? What? Okay, do you... Oh, they got cups! Oh, sweet Jesus, I gotta get one. Oh my god. I just, like... I just totally flipped out. I'm gonna get... Oh my god, is that a pin? Oh, damn. Yes, I love my Linux. I love Seuss even more. That was my first positive Linux experience. Seuss was awesome. The operating system was awesome. I just loved it to death. And for all those little weenies that I always tried to hack on AOL because they could run Windows commands and shut people down, I just sat there as everybody got flushed out of IRC and all sorts of fun crap. But, yeah, IRC is still around, unfortunately, but whatever. Everybody goes to Reddit. Who needs IRC anymore? Although IRC is live chat, so that's why it's called Internet Relay Chat. And on that note, I am out of here. Y'all have a nice night. This has been Guy the IT Guy. This is the Linux Minute, although we have traversed to almost in a freaking hour. We have hit an hour, I do believe. So, that. That's it for today. That was episode five. We hit an hour. Um, if you pick up on the episode later, go ahead and play it, listen to it, watch the video on your lunch break or something. Man, if you're bored, whatever, you know, let me know how you liked it. Leave a comment and I'll be blasting it again tomorrow. That's why it's called the Lytics Minute Daily. And I'm your host, Guy the IT Guy.